Now, before moving on any further, I would like to introduce you to my new tool from KaiBeats, which is a multifunction wire cutter and stripper from 0.8 mm to 2.6 mm.
Finally, connect the voltmeter wires to the output terminals of the capacitor. Now, here as you can see, there is a switch for two modes, charging and power supply. So, let's move the switch to power supply mode. 18.2 volts. In the power supply mode, we are going to get full output. bike starter motor <laughs> 40 amperes peak <laughs> now that's my 12 volts 150 ampere hour inverter battery as you can see the voltage of the battery is 11.94 volts Note uh, that these are not charging wires, these are connected to my inverter. So keep the charger in a proper insulated place. Next connect its output positive to the positive of the battery and negative to the negative of the battery. Here as you can see the voltage is 11.9 volts, that's the battery voltage. Also this red LED indicates connected battery. After that take your clamp meter and connect it to one of the wires for measuring amperes. Next step is to connect your home socket supply. Drawn current is 13.5 amperes and the battery voltage is 13.1 and when it is fully charged this green LED will glow and we have the green LED over here and now it is showing the power supply voltage 18.2 volts open circuit and 0 amperes so battery is no longer charging let's disconnect the power supply now the battery voltage as you can see is 12.1 or 12.2 so it is a little bit charged which means that we will have to move the potentiometer knob to the required voltage at which we want to charge the battery so bringing down my power supply to 13.9 volts now moving the potentiometer knob yeah, this is the exact point at which the charger is going to disconnect. So after completing the changes, let's try it once again. So we have 12 volts over here. See 12 volts, 0 amperes at present. Connecting the home socket supply. It's drawing 12.2 amperes, battery voltage 13.3 and increasing. Let's find out the disconnection voltage. It is set to 13.9 volts as i remember as the battery is gaining charge uh, you can see the drawn current has reduced to 10 amperes 13.8 we are very close it should be tripping any moment yo so the charger has disconnected you can see 12.6 this is the value at which i wanted to charge my battery so this is how you can set your charger to the value a little higher than what you want and it is going to charge exactly to your requirement. Very important details. One, here as you can see I have disconnected this track because it was a mistake. Two, for using this circuit you will first have to set the potentiometer using an external power source with an output voltage equivalent to that you need for full charging and automatic disconnection. Hello friends, uh, it is nice to be on camera after such a long time and this project made it necessary. Uh, I've made some notes so that I don't miss out any important details. Now to get the most precise results from this device that I made, uh, there were some important changes that I had to do. And please note that these changes are applicable only when you are using this device in the charging mode and not the power supply mode. So let's start with a quick summary. The transformer I have used is from an old computer UPS and it is rated at 220 volts to 12 volts. 
although the open circuit output voltage is 18 volts. Now the transformer itself is rated for a maximum current output of 30 amperes and the thin wire side is the high voltage 220 volt side and the thick wire is the output high current side 12 volts. So the thick wire side will be connected to a parallelly connected set of bridge rectifiers KBPC3510 and these rectifiers are rated at 35 amperes each. Connected in parallel that is going to make them 70 amperes maximum they can handle continuously. Now the overall output of the bridge rectifiers will be connected to a capacitor uh, which I have used is uh, 25 volts DC and 15,000 microfarad to purify the DC line. After that a thick black wire will be connected to the overall negative of the bridge rectifier. And now note that a part of that black wire is also connected to the input negative of the PCB. Now this is an important part that wire that has been connected to the PCB it will be disconnected from it. Next at the end of this black wire there is an alligator clip. So what you are going to do is you will have to take a thin wire and solder it to the alligator clip and take that thin wire place it inside the box and connect its other end to the negative track of the PCB to get the exact voltage the battery is at when it is charging because otherwise there is drop across the charger cable wires thus uh, your battery might not charge uh, to the voltage at which you set your potentiometer at. Now comes the positive wire which will be connected to the overall output of the PCB circuit. Now the project is over but I would like you to wait for a few more seconds. I made some extra efforts in making this video and I sincerely hope that you people enjoyed it because otherwise my efforts would have no meaning. So. Please hit that subscribe button and share your views in the comment section below because positive response is going to encourage me in making similar content more. So see you in the next one. Stay connected. Bye bye.